Hi, back again. Uh, it's not long ago that I made another video. This one, I want to talk about the prosperity gospel and my thoughts and opinions on that. So we get a lot of these preachers on Christian television, Christian networking, TBN or whatever, that talk about God wants to make you rich, God wants you to be blessed more abundantly, so on and so forth. And God will just bless you. You just have to believe. That's all you have to do. Just believe and God will bless you and give you all the riches you need. Now, I don't agree with this. And I'm going to lay out my thoughts as to why I don't agree with this particular uh, gospel. God said in the gospels that uh, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Now notice he says needs. This is the most fundamental part of the verse. God will supply all of my needs. Okay? You need water. You need um, the air you breathe. You need uh, food in your stomach. Yet you need a little bit of money, right? But you don't need to be rich. You don't need to be wealthy. It, you might desire to be wealthy because you can buy more things. But to be honest with you, the acquisition of wealth doesn't make you a better Christian. It doesn't make you... It can make you a worse Christian, to be honest. The more wealth you acquire, it depends how you handle that wealth. So often prosperity gospel preachers will say, well, God said in the Bible, he will supply all of my needs according to riches, riches and glory. So therefore I'm going to be rich, I'm going to be well off, um, you know, so on and so forth. So they follow this mandate and then when it doesn't work, they start asking people for money. So they start saying, you know, things like there's a, there's a holy... Um, bracelets and you can have this holy bracelet if you'll just give a donate twenty dollars a month you know just donate twenty dollars a month and you'll get this blessed bracelet that will make everything fine and okay i've seen it i've seen it i know it's there i've seen it and i will probably get accused of making a mockery of uh, god or, or his but i'm not really because it's the prosperity gospel is anti-biblical when jesus met with the rich man he said um to the rich man what have you, you know, what have you given up? He said, you know, do you obey the, the Ten Commandments? The rich man said, yes, I obey the Ten Commandments. I have done so. And then he says, well, there's one thing you lack. He says to the rich man, he says, you give up everything to the poor and come follow me. Now, where's the prosperity gospel in that? It's not there, is it? So it's not the gospel, right? Prosperity gospel is a load of rubbish. It, it, just, it doesn't work. Some, some people, God enables them to be rich and well off. And there might be a particular purpose for that. But God will make that way for that person to be rich and well off. And it won't be so for their own good. It will be some way to forward the kingdom of God, uh, make the kingdom of God more. And there's, there's another thing as well. God doesn't always bless you with riches. There are far more important blessings that God can give you rather than money. For example, if you are um, like me... I start, when I was tithing in my 20s, I, I started working from the age of 18 and I've was work, been working full-time work ever since then, apart from nine months where I was out of work. But pretty much my whole of my life since the age of 18, I've been in full-time work. Now, when I started tithing at the age of 18, I said to the Lord, if you're going to bless me for tithing, if you do, right, because you, you, you don't have to bless me for doing something that is in your word as a command, if you're going to bless me, <coughs> I would ask you not to bless me with money. Now, ever since that time, God has given me the jobs that I've gone in for. Every interview that I've gone in to have, God has given me the job, without without exception. There's been no interview I've had where I've been turned down for the job, and I've been for a lot of interviews. Now, I'm not saying that to blow my trumpet. I'm saying that because God really did bless me in other areas rather than money. Because it's, it is in God's nature to bless people. When the prosperity gospel preachers say, God's nature is to bless people, they are telling the truth. That's the only one truth within their, their gospel that actually is the truth. Because God does bless. God will bless your family. God will bless you with wisdom, um, with righteousness, with all these different blessings. But he may not bless you with money. Because all of the bless other blessings are, are actually better than money. But because the world tells you that money, the acquisition of money and acquisition of things, 
gives you is the thing to aim for you know you've got to have more money let's face it we live in a society where it's got to be more money more money more money all the time to yeah. try and get more money to be richer and uh, to be more well off the most important thing in life isn't money the most important things in life are your relationship with god how you interact with other people whether you're a wise person whether you do what wise actions and, and speak wise things whether things at work are going well these are all important things and god does want to bless you in those areas he does because they're for his his benefit as well as yours forwarding your christian life on enriching you these are all the benefits um that are good from being a christian god wants to do so on you so hopefully that has my um, two pennies worth on that subject